Uh, what I'm going to do here is teach you how to use the sum if function in Microsoft Excel. We're going to assume that I am a farmer and I sell small Yeehaw. starter plants for different types of herbs and vegetables. And I want to find out what my total revenue was for like a particular region or the quantity of uh, plants that I sold for a particular region, for example. So you can see here in my table, I have my fruit and vegetable type. I have my subtype, the region that they've sold in, the quantity, the price, and the revenue. It would take a lot of work for me to add up the revenue for all plants sold, like in the Northeast region. I'd have to scroll down and then I'd have to go and add each one up individually. Right here, I have my total sales by region. So the way that I like to enter in my sum if function, even though there are multiple ways to enter the sum if function, I just like to use the insert function dialog box. So I go right here and I'm going to click on insert function, my quick access key insert function and then i'm going to search for the sum if function so right here search for a function i'm typing in sum if and then i'm going to click go now you here you can see here i have sum if and sum ifs we're going to get into sum if s but for now we're doing sum if so we're going to select our function and press ok all right now we have our function arguments dialog box so first we need to select our range. Our range is going to be where the sum if function is going to search for our condition or our criteria. So in this case, our criteria is going to be northeast because we want to find the sum of all sales or revenue in the northeast region. So our range is going to be our regions. So I'm going to click on column C and that is going to select a range of cells all the way down through the entire worksheet in column C, which would be our region. All right, our criteria, as we said, or our condition is northeast. So we only want to sum up the revenue if the sales took place in the northeast region. That's our condition. And then finally, for our last function argument, we need to enter in the range of cells where we're going to get our numbers from. What numbers are we gonna sum up? We're gonna sum up our revenue that took place in the Northeast region. And we're gonna get that from our revenue column right here, which is column F. So you can see our range is column C. Our criteria is Northeast. And then with some range is column F. I'm going to press OK. And there you can see that we sold $255,206 in the Northeast region of the United States. We're going to do the same thing for the Southeast region. I'm going to click insert function, but this time I'm going to go to my formulas bar. And then over here, I'm going to select insert function. Select sum if. It's showing up right there at the top. I'm going to press OK. Our range of cells, again, is going to be our region, so we're going to select column C in this case. Our criteria this time is southeast, and our sum range is column F. Press OK, and all right, our sales were quite a bit higher in the southeast region. All right, now we're going to do our northwest region. This time I'm going to enter in my sum if a little bit differently. I'm going to do it manually. Anytime you do a manual entry, you're going to hit the equal sign, and now I'm going to type in sum if. I'm going to open my function arguments with the parentheses, and then I'm going to select my range of cells, which is going to be my region again. So that range, and then I'm going to get my criteria from that range, and my criteria is northwest. But what I want you to pay attention to is now if I'm manually entering in my criteria, I have to make sure that it is nested within parentheses or quotation marks. I'm sorry, northwest. All right, and I got to close out my quotation marks and then I'm going to move on to my sum range in order to close out the criteria argument I hit a comma and now you can see here the sum range is boldened now I'm going to select my sum range which is column F I got to close my function and enter all right and it gave us three hundred sixteen thousand six hundred and fifty two dollars in the northwest all right, so now let's actually use our sum ifs function. And just real quick while I got you here, if you're enjoying this video, why don't you get down there and hit the thumbs up button? All right, let's get back to this tutorial.
So we're going to select the cell where we want to see our results. And then we are going to go to the insert function dialog box and we'll select some ifs. Press OK. All right, this time we're going to want to know the quantity of fruit trees sold by region. So we're not going to select revenue this time. We're going to be summing up the quantity. All right, so the quantity is column D. Now our first criteria range is going to be the fruit or vegetable type. And that's because we are looking for fruit trees, which is a fruit or vegetable type. So we will select column A for our criteria range. And our first criteria is fruit tree. All right, so our first region that we're doing is Northeast. So our criteria range is by region. We're gonna select our region column, column C. And again, make sure that you enter your criteria range and then your criteria is going to be Northeast. It's okay. And you can see that we sold 1,300 fruit trees in the Northeast. And if you want to learn about using wildcard characters in the summit function, check out this video. And if this video helped you in any way, please don't forget to subscribe and help Todd pay off his 1992 Honda Civic.